had a conversation with a guy that took oh me out on a date previously, and um, we had matched on a dating app, whatever. Oh we were just kind of discussing things, having a conversation with him, and I've like been waiting for him to ask me out on a proper. <sighs> Alright, if you guys have been here before, you have seen her before. Oh my god. Um <clears throat> I I need I need to prepare. <laughs> I need to prepare. I have never seen this woman I have never seen a video of this woman saying anything positive about any man. And I ain't even gonna say the rest. I ain't gonna say the rest. We gonna get this. We gonna get this motherfucker lit today, because we know how she coming, and I am not gonna say nothing out of the way. Okay, <laughs> let's get ready. For date, like, cause he keeps on like coming into my IG stories trying to talk to me, and I don't really waste time talking to guys through text messages or through DMs or whatever. It's like if you want to spend time with me, you want my time and attention, just take me out on a date, right? So. He kept on doing that, and eventually I was just like, I'm just waiting for you to take me out on a proper date like a gentleman. And he responds with, I'm waiting for you to take me on a proper date like a proper lady. And <laughs> the disconnect there. I don't really know what he was trying to say, but I'm sorry, babe. I am a woman. I expect you, as a man, to plan a date, to ask me out on said date, to take care of the date. Like, pick me up or send me an Uber, pay for the date, take me on a date, drop me back home, make sure I'm safe. That is the role of a man. Like, men are meant to work. Men are built to work. Studies have proven women need more sleep, women need more rest, and women love to nest, okay? Men, these days, are trying so hard to be women, and I don't get it. Why do you... I have... <laughs> These one of them videos where you got to be careful because you're walking on a tightrope of cancellation. So I'm going to respond to what she's saying the best way I can without coming out of pocket. First off, I would love to see the proof of these these men in her DMs because every video I've seen it's about a man trying to get at her and not trying to get at her the right way. Now, um, be gentle. Be gentle. Be gentle. She's not my type. Okay? Is she your type? But she's not my type. I've been trying to figure out if the things on her face, if it's a filter and she's just um, playing a practical joke on us. I just don't feel as though she should have the type of energy that she, she has. I'm going to go ahead and stop. Oh, nah. <laughs> oh no! Nah. He tight. He tight. You can't be playing jokes like this. You do that to my hairline, you liable to get your ass beat. <laughs> you liable to get your ass beat. That's that Jamie Fox. I don't know if y'all seen that picture of Jamie Fox. Oh, oh, oh my God. I will never forget this one time this guy was trying to talk to me. And I was like, well, just so you know, I'm trans, right? And he's going to go, well, you have boobs. I said, oh, no, you want to know what else I got? Spooky. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, son. It's a dangerous world we live in, bro. It's a dangerous world we live in. I ain't going to lie. I thought that was a female, gang. And you know why this is so dangerous? And somebody gonna say, you could tell by the voice. Yo, she from New York. Well, mm -mm. she from New York, right? She from New York. If you know anything about females from New York, a lot of them got that deep ass voice. So like, you being a... 
fucked up situation. My fuck said, hey, you got boobs, so she ain't had the surgery and all that. Stay vigilant out here, my brothers. Stay vigilant out here, my brothers. Cybertron is right around the corner. If you know what, if you know, then you know. I didn't do the update, bro. Oh yeah, check. By the way, me and Jane broke up. Tell him. Tell him. Damn. Try you just hit the cat, bro. What, you just hit the cat. You you the you close, the close, close, close the door. Close the door. Close the door. You doing too much? Close the door. Close the door. Yeah, hey, let's keep it funky. I know some of y'all gonna say, oh, if the shoe was on the other foot and he threw something at her, then, you know, he will be in jail and this, that, and the third. And I can understand your sentiment. But I'm not all the way gonna agree with you because there's no reason why he had to bring that up on live. There's no reason why he had to bring that up to his audience. He literally was poking a bear. Keep it 100, he was poking a bear. That's not cool. Is this creepy or is it just me? Finally told him to stop staring. Is this creepy or is it? Every time I go to the gym and I see chicks wearing them skimpy outfits like that, you know what goes through my mind? Y'all remember when Lil Boosie used to be on Instagram? Put your pussy on the live for a hundred dollars. Put your pussy on the live for a hundred dollars. You know how many times I've been to the gym and I seen chicks stretching. And they other lips is carrying a whole conversation with the rest of the gym. Now we grown, so y'all know the other lips I'm talking about. Now, I want y'all ladies to understand something. Or matter of fact, ask yourself a question. If you were walking, let's matter of fact, if you were in the gym and a man's print was very pronounced, I just want to know, do you see, do you feel as though you can keep yourself from looking? You cannot go to the gym and just wear these skimpy ass outfits and expect men not to look over there or not to glance. I'm not going to lie, like when I go to the gym just to avoid all these weird ass interaction with the ladies in there, I be looking down. Like I literally will look down. I get on that stairmaster, my head is down the whole time, son. If I look up, sometimes my eyes be closed. Sometimes I might look at the wall. Uh, thank God at the gym I go to now, they have televisions. I might just look up and look straight at the TV. You just never fucking know. I'm telling y'all, it be situations where I would not be paying attention to a chick for the whole duration of her workout. And I might just happen to look up and boom, we get eye contact. And now, she, oh, oh my God, like... But it's like, baby, I wasn't trying to look at you. You feel me? I don't want to make you uncomfortable during your workouts. You get what I'm saying? And I know what y'all going to say. Like, oh, I should be able to wear what I want. And this, that, and the third. But don't wear revealing stuff and then expect not to get some type of attention. You feel me? Like, I drive a, a sports car. I expect the police to always try to pull me over. Every day I drive my car... A cop gets behind me trying to find some reason to pull me over. I expect that. I know what I was getting myself into when I bought that car. So when you wear revealing outfits to the gym, just understand what you signed up for. And I really feel as though when it comes to these type of videos, if the if you were physically attracted to the guy that we're looking, it wouldn't be a problem. Like that motherfucker with my, my grandmama passed. This motherfucker, my grandmama helped him build a up. Her and everybody else in the congregation helped him build a whole f wing on his church. Then she died. He talking about, well, I don't know if we can have a funeral here. I said, if you don't have that motherfucker here, you won't have another one. Because I'm going to burn this bitch down. I told him right to his face. He said, Son, Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yo. I just had deja vu. All right, so a lot of y'all know I'm from Grenada. I am from this place in Grenada called Latas. Um, if you're familiar with Grenada, then you've heard of Latas. You've heard of River Sally. My grandfather helped renovate 
the River Sally Catholic Church. If you know, then my grandfather's name was Eugene. Eugene John. They used to call him Colon. My grandfather used to, uh, he was a farmer. So he had land in the mountains. He had land in this place called Tekan. Tekan and he had different land. Anyway, this is things that my grandfather used to do, right? And I'm going I'm to get back to this video. My grandfather used to go and pick fruits. And he used to put it on something called a tapolin in the field. So the kids who didn't have food to eat when they came to school or whatever. Because, you know, a lot of us didn't have that much money in Grenada. They, they can go take fruits off the tapolin. Now, I remember this because when I used to go to school down there, I used to be like, yo, stop touching my grandfather's stuff. But I was really young. For me, I probably about four or five years old. I was really young. Okay. Um, the money that he used to get when he used to sell the food to the, the people that exported it out to other countries, he used to donate more than 80% of that money to the church. He used to donate more than 80% of that money to the church. We used to complain to him about that. I remember. My aunt used to complain to him because my aunt used to stay with us at the time. And my grandmother used to complain to him. My grandmother hated those people at that church too because... Deep down, she knew that they was taking advantage of him. My grandpa, they used to have the, the little service. My grandfather was like a, a major staple in that church at that time. Now, I don't know if it's the same people there. I'm pretty sure a lot of them have already passed away because, you know, they were all old while I was growing up. Anyway, when my grandfather died, those people in that church did not want to bury him. Now, mind you, he helped build that motherfucker. Those people in that church did not want to bury him, bro. I don't know what I don't know what my aunt and them had to do to convince them to have the funeral there, but they did not want to bury my grandfather, dog. All right. Fast forward a couple years later, um Hurricane Ivan hit. We going to continue this video too. Hurricane Ivan hit, right? It destroyed the house that my grandmother was staying in. At the time my grandma was blind. She started going blind and she was there by herself. Hurricane Ivan destroyed the house. My father and my uncle, God rest the dead, decided that they were they were going to rebuild the house. So they hired a contractor and the contractor told them hey, it's going to be this amount of money and this is the um, materials that you need. They spent about forty or fifty thousand dollars. They gave the, the contractor I want to believe it was fifteen or twenty thousand. The contractor ran off with the money, and those same kids, those same kids that my grandfather used to feed, these was as adults. These same kids came in there and stole all the material that was left around for the the house to be rebuilt. I haven't spoke about this in a while. Like, I'm actually upset. <laughs> I'm actually upset. That's that's one reason, bro. Like, I'm grateful. The only thing I love about my country is my family that's down there. Besides that, I do not f*** Grenadians. That's real. Like, the last time I went, I went for my aunt's funeral. I did not want to talk to none of them. I was not like, I, oh my God, bro. Oh, that shit get me so f high every time I think about it. But yeah, they did not want to bury my grandfather. Anyway. <sighs> Woo! What you say? I said, I'm going to burn this bitch down. If you don't have my grandmother's a funeral in this bitch. After she done gave you all my grandfather's money for all these 50 years she's been coming here. And you telling me she ain't having her funeral here? Won't be there another one in this mother. Because I'm going to burn this bitch down. And I got gas in the car because I know you're going to take that motherfucker. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. We're going to move through all that. We'll have it here. And my father and my auntie just sat there like, you do it. <laughs> that funeral was that Saturday. What the fuck you mean you ain't going to preach her funeral? She's been coming up here with this ignorant ass for 50 years giving you all my grandfather's money while he waited out in the car because he knew you were supposed to. But he loved his wife, so he brought her, gave her the money to get her your ass. And now you talking about you ain't going to give her her funeral here? I said, man, I'll burn this bitch down in the daytime. <laughs> I told that motherfucker, I said, I'll burn that bitch down in the daytime. I 
ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't even feel like doing no more videos. Um, just talking about that whole situation with my grandparents just really brought out some shit in me. But let me tell y'all something, man. You don't need the church to to show God that you love him. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to go to church to do that. You can do that in your house. I haven't been to church in a long time. And I just have a I just have a bad relationship with, with churches. Like I just don't trust them. I never trust I never trust the church. I don't know if it, it stemmed from how they treated my grandfather, but even before my grandfather died, man, like I just never really like the church like that, man. I just always felt as though they they be using the congregation. Mm. All right, y'all. That's that's today's video. <clears throat>